what is up guys welcome back to another video and in this video i'm going to be showing you how to use the advanced silence detection tool that is in Femora 13. this is also known as the ai text clipper so let's go ahead and get started all right so as you can see here i have Femora open this is the welcome window this is where you are going to find all the tools so if you scroll over to the right here you're going to see that we have an ai text clipper which is one of the new uh, features in Femora 13. So let's go ahead and click on this. And this is gonna ask you to import a video right away so you can start using this. I'm gonna go ahead and select uh, this first video here. Go ahead and hit open. And once you open it, you're gonna be greeted with this screen here that has two options. Now, the first option is gonna be the sound-based editing, which is gonna be this option here. So this is gonna allow you to delete clips uh, that you want to remove based on the sound level of the video so this is the basic uh, silence detection that we've always used i want to show you this real quick before i show you uh, the new uh, text-based editing here which is the ai uh, portion of this so i'm going to hit ok and usually once we uh, once you have this uh, you know you have your settings here on the right side what volume do you want for this to kind of like, you know, if the volume threshold is above, is, uh, you know, below 25%, therefore, we're going to delete, we're going to detect that scene as, as a silent um, scene, right? And you also have a minimum duration and you have a softening buffer. So for this, in this instance, if uh, it's less than 25% and it lasts for 0.5 seconds, it's going to be, you know, detected as uh, a silence in the video, which will be deleted once you hit a uh, start here right so this is the basic uh sound detection that we've always had which everyone has been using now let's go back and try uh the ai advanced version here so i'm gonna go ahead and exit out of this i'll exit out of for more and it's gonna take me back to this welcome page here so i'm gonna go back to my ai text clipper click on that and i'm gonna go ahead and select uh, this video here all right, cool. Now, the second option here is going to allow you to delete uh, clips that you want to remove based on the text converted from the video. So this does two things. It's going to convert your, um, you know, it's going to kind of like uh, copyright your video. It's going to convert your video into text. And based on that text, you're going to be able to kind of like um, delete uh, clips from the video using the text itself okay now i'm using a small video here because i don't want this to last way too long trying to load but uh, the longer the video you have the longer it's going to take uh, to load all right so you also have the video language to be transcribed it's very important here because if you have a video where the subject is speaking in Spanish and you have English set here it's not going to work uh, well for you so if you have English go ahead and select English here Click on that. It does help uh, the you know transcribing process of you know of uh, creating those uh, subtitles for your video. I'm gonna go ahead and hit OK here, and it's gonna go ahead and start converting. Like I said before, if you have a longer video, it's gonna take a lot longer to convert into um, to this year. All right. So as you can see here, we do have our uh, script on the right side here. You know, there are some. You know, sometimes it's gonna detect. Um, you know the things you say you know not accurately simply because you might have an accent you might sound different you might say certain words different uh, but you're not gonna be able to edit those here so essentially what this does is each sentence here is or each word actually is tied to a clip right here okay so if I select this here it's gonna show you exactly where I said that here so if I select this say right here it's gonna show you exactly where I was saying that on here. So this is how you're going to be able to detect silent, uh, silent, um, silent uh, uh, places within this video here. It will tell you that. So as you select, go through this, you're going to be able to see, it will show you what clips, um, which clips are tied to that. So if I want to go ahead and delete uh, this last part here, you can see this is this clip. I'm going to hit backspace on my keyboard. It deletes those clips here because these words are tied to the clips here. So I'm gonna do Control Z so I can bring that back. All right, so what I do recommend here is actually just going to delete all silent clips here, right? So if there's a silent clip, you know, it's gonna be detected as uh, silent here. It's gonna be tied to an empty space, right? So this is one of the silent uh, clips here because obviously I don't say anything towards the end of the video and there's some, just like maybe some quiet uh, space there. So if you look at the duration of the video here, which is 27 seconds, I'm gonna go ahead and select um, delete all silent clips here. So click on that, 
boom so you can see now it turns into 26 seconds and it deletes that silent uh, clip that is right here so obviously i'm using a very short video that has not that many silent clips but if you had a longer video there's going to be more silent uh, clips that are going to be removed from here now you can see that through the time uh, reducing on here okay now once you have this there's a couple things you could do you can export this straight to the timeline Right, so I'm going to show you what happens when you do that. So export to the timeline. Now you can see that we have our video here, right? So this is essentially the uh, subtitles themselves. And you also have your video here and audio, obviously, uh, here. Now the other option is, I'm going to go ahead and redo this so I can show you the other option. So I'm going to go back to my AI text clipper, select my video, and select text-based editing. Click on that. And just gonna go ahead and do this magic here by converting this. Hopefully it doesn't take too long. This is a very short video once again. There we go, right? So as you can see that silent is, um, you know, is highlighted here. So if you had multiple, they'll be highlighted over here. Delete all clips. There's also an option to um, send this, you know, to go to the subtitle editor as soon as you finish uh, exporting this. So if I select this and I hit export to timeline, it's gonna open the subtitle editor here. Now, this allows you to obviously um, edit your subtitles, right? Obviously, I did not say what are the guys. I said what is up, guys. So you can kind of like edit these subtitles. It's not going to change what you say within the video. You just change the subtitles. This is a way you can actually uh, go ahead and edit your subtitles here. So you can go through uh, these here. So click on these little clips here of subtitles where you can go ahead and edit these in here. Okay. Go ahead and do that. There's also some presets here in terms of if you know, if you're trying to uh, design your text, right? Make it more stylish, uh, customize it. There's a bunch of uh, presets that you can use here in order to make it a lot nicer. Now you can also customize, um, you know, manually customize this, right? If you don't want to use any of the presets and you have your own settings that you want to use, such as maybe you want to change the text effect, lower the opacity, change the blur, all this cool, all this, uh, all these things you could apply here. You also have the ability to apply animation, even though I would not recommend applying animation to your uh, subtitles because it's very distracting. When you have subtitles on the screen, people just want to read uh, those subtitles. They don't want to see the animation because, you know, it ruins the experience of having subtitles, right? Now, another cool thing here is over here, you have your basic text editing tools here, right? If you want to make it bald, if you want to make it uh, italic, if you want to align it left, right? All this, all these cool things here. Now, one of the cool things I would say here, there are so many, you know, different separated clips here. So if you were going to use, let's say, if you're going to customize this into, um, you know, in, in make a custom, you know, design here just for this text here. One of the cool things you can do, you can click apply all. This will apply to all the, you know, subtitle bars that are on here. You don't have to individually, you know, re redesign the custom uh, text uh, settings and effects that you added on here. You can just select um, apply all. This is going to apply to all the little subtitle bars here. Now, if you like the settings you set up or the your, your preset that you just created by customizing the text, you can save this as a preset so you can use it next time. So you can um, you know apply it to other videos. Now, once you have this uh, set up, go ahead and hit save. It's gonna take you back to the timeline where you are gonna be able to view uh, your video here. So this is a pretty cool feature that takes the basic silence detection to the next level. You can actually see uh, the words that you were saying and you have those words uh, tied to the video clips. It's a lot easier to visually see those words and kind of like see where those spaces are. And uh, yeah, it just makes the whole process a lot easier. This is probably one of my favorite features, but uh, that is pretty much it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to go ahead and hit the subscribe button below if you haven't already. I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.